Hello, I'm Tao. I travel universes and dimensions without any notice. If you wonder why I sound so weird, is my uh, recording device just broke because some dud sent jerks came in and started punching me to death and stole my mic. Eh. The elegant fart bird didn't shoot very much. By the way, if you're wondering what that is, it's my spaceship. It's, it's pretty nice. So what you're hearing now is basically a head-to-head -head communication telepathy. But it's more commonly known as universal telepathy, which can be used to communicate with basically almost anything. So I promised you in the last video I'll start about the Grafus language. So let me start doing this. <coughs> 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 The Grafus language has been around for many ages. First, we will talk about its culture. The Grafus have died out from a war that caused them to destroy their own planet. Aegeans lived on their planet Glarshi at the time of the war. Once the Aegeans were peaceful and kind to each other, but the new president of the Aegean side of the planet caused it to change a dictatorship, causing the Aegean army to randomly attack the Grafus powers. In a short story called Random Gang by Karth Vader, the left Grafus is named Alien Head, but he states that two of them are still in existence. I will talk about Random Gang later because it happens way later in the chronological order of this universe. So back to Grafus. Grafus is a mixture of tons of alien languages from around Incidros. The most notable languages that are influenced in it are French and Spanish. How did they find French and Spanish though? Well. Human explorers that made inventions go berserk, berserk, that caused them to be sucked into the time portal to a certain era. Weird, right? I mean, I mean, if you're trying to make a time machine, it's just not gonna work. You're gonna, you're gonna die. Such as the era where the Ravis lived. The language is known for its interesting letters named Oina, Olo, Ako, Yejeb, and Yuxis. They all have types of accents, at least two. Latin letters that are important from the French and Spanish made a better voice in Grafus speech. Here are some basics about these Grafus letters. Oina makes the noise oi. Olo makes the noise ol. Yejab makes... Yaxis makes the noise yux on the end or middle, but on the front it makes yuz. Ako makes the noise ak. Now the accents. Oina has one accent. It makes it a Y. Why is it needed then? No pun intended. Well, before the explorers came, they had to make different things. For some reason, this accent is still kept in a language. When all the other ones that made A through Z with the Grafus letters were taken out. Yezheb has two accents. One that makes Yez, and one that makes Y. Olo and Ako have no accents. Yexis, oh boy, Yexis accents. Oh, thank goodness. Almost done. It has two. One that makes it yuz, and one that makes it yucks. Now that the basic basics have been done, let's say some words! Oyez is high. How's it going is vez yucks. Now do you see that spiral at the end? Well, that means it's a question. The regular question mark confused the Grafus because they thought it was nonsense. Terrible means yezula. Why does it have an accent, you wonder? Well, the first word in Grafus was yez oloak, which meant the worst and stuff to talk about Aegeans behind their back. They kept the accent because they're lazy. Good is goloi, bad is mel. Amazing, amaziol. There's an accent in oina. Remember that on your travels around the universe, rare languages will likely have a copy of some sort of accent in oina. I could go on and on with this stuff, but I've been talking too long. I need a freaking state space nap. Thanks for listening. Oh my gosh, I'm so oh, I'm stuttering like crazy. Please let me sleep. Please let me sleep.